Check out any base forum online lately and you'll always find uh, a handful of regular threads asking about stuff. Um, the one we're focusing on right now is going to be the how do I make my electric bass sound like an upright bass. And most of the, the responses always revolve around equipment. Um, how do we cue um, using flats instead of rounds, um, using a fretless instead of a fretted. And those are great ideas and if you can do that, fantastic. Um, I kind of just worked into my routine as a musician that doubles on electric and upright in theater pits where the real estate just doesn't allow for both to, uh, to do, use a thumb technique to uh, approximate that upright sound because you still want those two different sounds but you really only have room for one instrument to do it. So uh, what I'm using for our demonstration today is a Warwick Streamer Broadneck LX 6 string which is an unbelievably awesome instrument very responsive, very lively, such a sweet tone but it's also very bright and I'm using that to, to serve a point uh, and that you can use this for any ins instrument it'll work. Um, it's, it's strung right now with GHS progressives some very bright rounds so a 12 bar blues is going to sound like this sounding bass. So to get that upright sound I'm going to use the thumb muting thing where you're going to take the, the big meat of your hand right here and we're going to put that over the strings and what that's going to do is that's going to deaden the strings a lot because the biggest difference that I've noticed from playing both in that the electric has sustained for days and the upright really just does not. And that's the problem even if you just switch to flats if you just use a fretless, you've still got that sustain that you really got to get rid of. So the first half of this thumb muting by just by just muting it there with the meat of your hand is going to fix that. The second part is by playing with your thumb, you have a lot more meat hitting the string. Because normally, you know, electric bass players, we're playing like this with our fingers or using a pick, and you've got just this little piece that's hitting the strings. Upright players, when I'm playing at least, you're going like this, You've got at least, you know, a knuckle or two there of, of your finger that's actually going to be hitting that string. It's going to produce a bigger sound. So, by just doing that, the 12 bar blues is going to sound a little more like this. Um, that sustains gone. You know, you're not sitting here going it's now it's pretty much notes there and it's out. Um, much rounder tone, much closer at least to the the feel of the upright which really is, is more important than the sound. You really need that feel of it. It's kind of that kind of like that same thing that we always joke about you can always tell a guitarist that's playing bass because they don't have that feel. It's kind of that same thing. Uh, you really want that feel of the upright over the actual tone. And the other part of that is when um, when you were playing upright, um, I was always taught you put in some dead notes as you're moving. It gives it a little bit of a little pizzazz, a little movement, um, but also like the salt and pepper on your steak, don't overdo it. So to, to kind of do that uh, the 12 bar blues would now sound like this if I'm just doing finger style to focus on the dead notes. And what I try to do with this a little bit is I'll work in my index finger to try to get more of a attack when you're doing it. 
And then the only other thing that I, that I actually still do when I have time, um, there are switches when you just, there's no time to do it, but um, I try to work it in as much as I can because it just cleans it up a little bit more, is uh, I use one of these great fret wraps from Groove Gear. Um, I put it down on the, uh, right there, and maybe at the half fret position, so I can still get to everything, but as you notice, it's pretty much as opposed to it really deadens it to make uh, to make it a little easier because you know when you are playing upright like this this hand really is muting the whole thing whether you know it or not as you're moving around this hand's got everything there and so you can't always do that just in the position of an of an electric you can't sit there like this the whole time so that helps a little bit more just for a a, one, a little more control part is you're playing that then you have to switch over to electric you're already done so um that those would be my options and suggestions i'd say for somebody that says how do i make my electric sound like an upright is work work on the technique um again you know if you want to use flats great if you want to switch over to a fretless that's great if you want to eq some stuff out that's good too but at the same point um you really need to know the nuances of the upright bass to make it sound more convincing than just an electric player playing an upright. So um, have fun, learn something new, 